We have a condition update on the man rescued from a huge house fire on U.S. 33 Friday night. 63-year-old Stephen Harris's family tells us he's still in the hospital but is making big improvements. Harris's family is also thanking a Cherbusco firefighter for, for pulling him from the flames. I sat down with that firefighter earlier today. He's a humble man doing a job he loves and a man many call a hero. Ben Rinker stays busy with three boys and his dream job. It's just a passion, you know, you love helping people. A volunteer firefighter with the Cherubusco Smith Township Fire Department. Then Friday night, a fire he'll never forget. Rinker and his family were driving into Fort Wayne on US 33. We drove through the smoke is when I first realized it. A house on fire. Without hesitation, he pulled over. And before I knew it, he was out of the car and gone into the darkness. Rinker's training took over. I looked into the structure and I seen um, a man laying face down but I saw his arm move. Without any firefighter gear or air tank, Rinker ran into the burning house. 63 year old Stephen Harris was lying right inside the front door. I found him laying face down. I picked him up. The fire was coming out of the door where the man was. I mean it was fire rolling over the top of us. Just as Rinker had disappeared into the smoke, he reappeared back at his van. Holding this gentleman, cradling him like a little baby. Rinker left Harris with his wife to go back and make sure no one else was still inside the house. The fire was too intense to go in any further, but fortunately, Harris was the only one home at the time. Well, he had guardian angels or what, but he was laying in fire. You know, the debris that was had fallen down from the, the ceiling and stuff was on the ground and he was laying in it. The Rinkers and Harris's family say a higher power was at work that night. The Rinkers were running late for their appointment and should have driven by 45 minutes earlier. God's timing for me to be where I was at at that time. And Rinkers' bravery, heroic. It's kind of humbling, you know. I really don't know what to say. It's, you don't think about that. It brings tears to my eyes too. See the looks on my children's faces as they watch their daddy save someone's life. It was very powerful. Those boys dreaming to grow up to be like their daddy and one day be firefighters too. They just keep saying, I can't believe daddy went into that fire in his street clothes and brought that man out. They're just, that's their hero. The Harris family hopes to somehow honor Rinker. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. Greg said you can expect more snow throughout the day. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson is checking on those road conditions this morning. She is live near Illinois and Hillegas. Hello, Alyssa. Good morning, Pat. I've been out here for about 20 minutes standing and you can see the snow just accumulating on me. So it certainly is coming down at a pretty good clip. My photographer and I have been driving around Fort Wayne for about the last hour and we've really seen a big difference in road conditions in just that hour. Let's take a look at this intersection here at Illinois and Hillegas. This is the live look. You can see about an inch or so on the roads right now. Cars still moving actually at a pretty quick clip, but you do want to be careful out here. They have becoming a lot more slick just in the last hour or so. These were really completely clear, but now that snow's really started to come down and it's sticking on the road. So as you're heading out this morning, do leave a little bit of extra time for your morning commute. I know a lot of schools are also starting to uh, call in two hour delays, so be checking those on the bottom of your screen as well. Now, as far as traffic conditions, if we've seen any crash crashes from this so far. Let's send it into Tina Harris with Traffic Tracker 15. She's tracking that. Good morning, Tina. Good.